Hi guys, how are you? This is Lois. Welcome back to my channel. I hope you're well and safe wherever you are. It's so hot here. Oh my God, we are melting in Calgary, like melting literally. Okay. So anyway, uh, today I want to talk about recruitment in New Brunswick. And before I start, I want you to call that IT person that you know. Remember, I think, uh, you know, I, I've said this in the past that we are seeing provinces now target various professions which are in demand and this is increasing every day and uh, right now the province of new brunswick is recruiting it people are you one of them do you know one okay fine call that person call that friend call that relative and tell them to like this video share this video with them uh you know even if a video doesn't necessarily apply to you i'm sure it applies to someone you know uh, so always uh feel free to share it like it have you subscribed if you haven't subscribed please do subscribe to this channel that's the only way you support me uh, I do give a lot of free information here so kindly uh, subscribe and share and like okay all right IT people so uh, only last week I made another video for New Brunswick and they were recruiting uh, truck drivers the sign up is still going on so if you know a truck driver an experienced uh, truck driver who would like to move to the province of New Brunswick here in Canada. It doesn't matter where they are in the world. So please uh, let them know that uh, they can still sign up until 11th of June. Okay, all right. I'm going to put the link of that video at the description part of this particular video. Okay, so excuse me. Uh, if you're wondering where New Brunswick is, the province of New Brunswick is in the Maritimes. That is in the far east of Canada and it borders Nova Scotia, uh, PI, and uh, the ocean, okay? So it's far east, is a smaller province uh, here in Canada when you compare to provinces like Ontario. So, but it's a really good place if you like that uh, laid back life, uh, you know, not so much commotion, not so much pressure and all that kind of stuff. Really good uh, seafood, uh, if you love the beach, if you like quality outdoor life, the province of Nova, uh, not Nova Scotia, New Brunswick is the place you should be headed. And as I said, um, what we've seen with them is that they are performing regular uh, recruitment uh, programs for various target uh, professions or occupations. So I would really encourage you to keep checking uh, the government of New Brunswick PNP website from time to time to see if there's any occupation that you may fit into uh, that they are recruiting. Uh, they also do recruitments in various parts of the world. So you might hear that they are recruiting in Mexico. At times, I think they were recruiting in Malaysia. Uh, they could be recruiting in Dubai. So always check uh, because you could benefit depending on where you reside in this world because I know my viewers are from all over, okay? All right, so. In the IT profession specifically, they are now only targeting uh, data scientists and data engineers. So if you know someone who is a data scientist and data engineers, uh, you should share this video with them. And they want really qualified people and not just qualified, but experienced people, okay? So in that case, what you find is uh, being in the express entry is good. Okay, but it's not necessary because some of the people who have real good experience in some of these fields, they are already at an age that may not necessarily uh, warrant them uh, a seat in the express entry. So if you're older, you don't meet the express entry uh, criteria, it's okay. You can still qualify to go to New Brunswick under this program. So there's no age requirement. They just, there's no age requirement. They just want people who are qualified and experienced. So you don't, as I said, you don't necessarily have to be in the express entry. What, um, if you're in the express entry, it's good, uh, it's recommended, 
of course being in the express entry means that you already have your education credential assessments you already have your language assessments and of course uh, they are at an advanced level okay uh, so we shall see I'll take you to the computer here uh, so that we go through that page I really want to be very fast very quick on this and then I'll leave you to do the application because the deadline is also coming up I believe the deadline is June 15 so between now and June 15 make sure that you gather your documents and you apply to participate in this recruitment whereby you will be meeting the employers in New Brunswick they are eager to meet you you know to, to talk with you and most likely maybe you get a job if you get a job then guess what you immigrate to the province of New Brunswick again anybody can apply it doesn't matter whether you're in Canada whether you're in Africa Asia Europe wherever you are you can apply as long as you qualify okay so guys uh, this is what I was telling you um, you can find this this is the government website for the new brunswick uh, pnp and this is where now they do recruitment you can see here that is uh their recruitment or events page you're going to land on this page and here they usually display the upcoming international recruitment event and as you can see it says international which means anybody can apply uh anyway uh so here right now you will see that they had the the sawmill uh, machine operators that was based uh, specifically for ukraine people okay and that one is already closed and this is the one that i talked about last week with the transport truck drivers uh this one is still ongoing it's closing um on june 11th so you still have time as i said here and then guess what uh then now we have the it sector guys so if you come here we, we will now see you can sign up here uh for this class today we are specifically talking about the it people so you just click on sign up when you click on to sign up it brings you to this landing page that now is for the it sector and they are just looking for data scientists and data engineers so they are saying that they are interested in learning more about you and so they are inviting you to submit a profile okay so the employers they only want experienced data scientists and data engineers to fill the roles in the province's it sector and data scientists here they say that these are people who are tasked with analyzing, interpreting, and modeling data to solve business problems on a global scale. This is a position that requires good problem solving skills, high technical competency, and excellent communication skills to clearly present ideas and findings. So when you just look at this, of course, you know yourself, you know your training, you have your degree, you have your master's uh, or whatever training that you have there that places you in this class of data scientist. Uh, make sure that you also meet this and you portray them in your resume that you have these kind of skills that they are looking for. So for the excellent communication, that's why it's really important if you have your your IELTS uh, results, uh, it's important that you show it here, not just IELTS, uh, whether you also have your TEF, uh, that is for the French test, uh, you also uh, attach it because it's going to show its proof of your competency in uh, communication, okay? Then the other one here is data engineers. And now these are people who are responsible for implementing the tools and code to collect, analyze, transform, and store data. Data engineers work alongside the data science team to organize, shape, provide access to client and data. They may also be tasked with analyzing and reporting on data quality and completeness and provide data governance guidance to improve source data sets. So data engineers may also work with software engineering teams to implement repeatable 
uh, integration solutions to source internal and external data sets. So this is all that they are looking for. So if you know someone who fits this criteria, please uh, let them know to apply for this, to submit their profile for this. So the deadline for registration is June 15. So you still have 10 days to register from today. That is enough time for you to get your house in order. Make sure that you have uh, the relevant documents. And they are saying that before you start registering, please be careful. You know, I see people uh, make half-baked applications. This is not that time to make a half-baked application, a half-baked application. Make sure that you're putting your best foot forward, you're selling yourself. Uh, so uh, they are going to need, uh, before you start, make sure that you have your photo page of your current passport uh, you have your language test results if you have them if you don't have them it's okay you could also uh, put in place measures to you know to register to have them and hopefully you can have them maybe sooner but uh, it's still important that you submit this profile if you meet the criteria and you can up, uh, uh, update your language later and then of course the highest language uh, I mean the highest education credentials. So if you have your ECAs, this is the time to attach them. They are saying that they are also not mandatory at this point, but they are important to have, okay? And full CV, my friend, make sure that your CV is selling you and do not put lies and provide Canadian addresses. Please stop that. I'm seeing so many people who are reaching out to me and sending me resumes that have Canadian addresses, yet these people live in Nigeria or Kenya or Europe please stop that uh, make sure that your resume shows wherever you wherever you live and uh, number five they're saying that you can also submit your spouses or partners uh, passport page photo and CV uh, I mean pa passport page and CV this is optional but I always tell people if they're saying something is optional make sure you make it your mandatory okay don't just go with optional there are people who are going over and beyond in doing these things so stop just going with the bare minimum <laughs> okay so put as much information as possible uh, because you never know uh, you know they might figure you, you know whenever you provide your spouse's CV uh, you know they may also be considered uh, by employers for you know for whatever jobs could be available okay so and then once you have these documents you can come down here and start your profile and they are asking do you have a, a federal uh, express entry profile number if you don't have that is okay you can still go ahead and say okay it's not mandatory uh, it's not required but if you have it make sure that you attach it here and then of course you proceed and uh, hopefully you submit that profile okay all right guys um before I go I just want to let you know that in all this the main thing that you have to be conscious about is your intent to live in the province of New Brunswick because there are people who just think that you know what I want to come to New Brunswick and then move so make sure that uh, you intend to live in New Brunswick and also you are admissible to Canada it doesn't matter whether you're invited to any program whether you qualify for any program if you're not admissible to Canada that is uh, health wise and security wise you will not be allowed to enter Canada okay my friends all right thank you so much for watching and subscribing and sharing and i will see you at my next video bye now